Hi and welcome to another short video. My name is Torge Peterson from the Software PAE Group and in this video I would like to show what additional functionalities are available in Guide to read the application log and write to your USB memory stick that you connect to the controller's USB stick. This video is an addition to a previous video called Application Log with the video number 6. That video shows how to use the app lock component and guide, assign signals and working with um, the application log editor. Please refer to that video first if you want to learn more about logging data and read the application log by our service tool. In the following uh, minutes, I would like to show how to write the application log or records from the application log to a USB memory stick that you connect to the controller's USB stick, starting with the save to file functionality inside the application log editor. You can easily set up your application log settings with just a few mouse clicks to save the application log on USB stick in a CSV file format. Followed with uh, the display library and the two available display function blocks, read app log and write USB, which provides easily drag and drop functionality for reading out the application log records in a CSV format and store them on a USB stick. And last but not least, um, the array components, read array from application log and write array to file, which can be used to read out the application log info in an array, including all the characters of the logged data. I start with a save to file functionality, which is available for newer HWDs of the DP700 and DM10 and 1200 displays. As it has been shown already in the mentioned video number six, application log, inside the application log editor, you have the possibility to use the property save to file. While this app log property, you can select or assign a Boolean input signal from your guide application to that functionality to trigger the save to file process. This process reads the application log from the flash memory on the controller and saves that file on the USB stick in CSV file format. There's no need to start and use the service tool. You can assign a display button to that signal, for example, or any other kind of comment forced via your guide code. Another possibility to get access or to read the application log data and store them on a USB stick is via the display uh, library. This feature can be used on controller where the save to file property is not available. The display library and the display function block library provide two function blocks, which helps um, to easily read out the application log data and store these data on an USB stick. Um, they have been developed for the, um, the DP600 display release where this functionality was added to the HWD um, first. That's why the DP600 is mentioned in the manual, but the functionality can also be used on newer controller equipped with the USB host. The first function block is the uh, read app log. This block reads records from a controller's application data log and outputs these records as comma separated values. The second function block is the write USB. This block writes CSV records to a file on a mass storage device, such as a USB memory stick that you connect to a controller's USB port. The display library provides also a user manual where each block is described in detail and uh, how both blocks work together. As you can see in the following page, um, both blocks works perfect together with just some little wiring and settings needed. Since there is a detailed description available of each block, there are inputs and outputs. I show the practical part only, starting um, drag each block, read app block and write USB from the library and drop it into my guide code drawing area. I connect all the mandatory inputs of the block write USB with the respective outputs of the block read app block. Here we can see that both blocks are perfectly synchronized. For the input file name, a constant can be connected with a type TL called text label. As it is also mentioned in the user manual, the file name must conform to the 8.3 file name format, which means the file name cannot have more than eight characters and you must follow it with a period uh, with a dot and then a three character extension. 
The override input can be connected with a Boolean trigger signal forced via a display button, for example. And last but not least, the ready output from the block write USB, uh, which needs to be connected with the input signal ready at the block read app block. Since the block read app block starts with the first record on the controller's application log and then read the next record and so on, the feedback from the write USB um, uh, block is necessary to avoid any overlap of reading and writing. With this output input feedback um, signal, both blocks are synchronized perfectly. The only signal which is missing on the input output area is um, the start input of the block, um, read app block. This Boolean input can be triggered via a display button, for example. I keep the, um, the parameter input untouched and use the default constant settings inside the read app block page. As you can see here, you have um, the possibility to set up specific categories and assess levels to read out. I use um, the default settings, which means any assess level and any category inside the application log will be uh, read out. At this point, almost any setting and wiring has been done, almost except one setting, the most important one, define the file name value. To do so, you must enter the page read app log twice to enter uh, the application log name. This value identifies the controller's application log file from which the read array from application log component reads records. The application log name must match exactly the application log definition name. Now any setting is done where the input signal start the read app log uh, block retrieves the log data from the application log one record at a time and converts it to a CSV format. These CSV um, records are connected to the write USB block, which writes the CSV records to a file. The result is shown in the following. On the left, we can see the log data of the application log uh, read from the service tool and stored on the local disk. It does include the header with some information of the log in the first uh, five rows, followed by the log data itself, the records with the tag, the assess level, and the text. These records are read from the application or the read application log block and stored via the block write USB on file. The last functionality I want to show regarding read application log and write data to file are the two components read array from application log and write array to file, which can be selected from the component group array. These two blocks has been used inside the previously shown display library function blocks. The read array from application log is used inside the block read app block and the write array to file inside the block write USB. The block read array from application log reads and outputs an array from an application data log. Where the input A2, you are able to specify the index of the first line of the data and to be read from application log. And the outputs provides all needed information like assess write for the line data, the data category, the tag, the number of bytes in the line of data being read, and the read data where one application log value are stored in one array element. The status bits provide some info of the read process. This block gives you the possibility to read out any element at any position of an application log and use that value for further um, programming logic. The block write array to file is available for only neural controller like the DM10 and 1200, for example. If this block or component does not show up inside um, your component group array, then because the HWD of the selected device does not support this function. This block gives you the possibility to write any array to an external file on a USB memory stick. You can set the position of the first byte of data to be written to the external file, the name of the file, delete the file or append new um, data to the existing data, <clears throat> the, um, the array of values and the number of elements in the array to write to the file. Together with the read array from application log component, you can easily uh, read data from the application log and build your user-defined array of values and store these in an external file. If you compare the display library blocks with the array components, with a 
display library blocks, you can easily and fast add the read and write application log function to your application. Drag from the library, drop into your guide code and connect both blocks, which works perfectly together without additional coding. With the read and write array components, you are more flexible and can decide what data is read from the application log. The received data in an array format can be modified and added with uh, another uh, value, for example, to create your own log structure and store this data on a USB memory. Using the array components, additional coding is needed. We hope that you found this tutorial useful. Remember that Plusborn community help is available on the Plusborn user forum. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel or contact the Plus One help desk. Thank you for your attention.